And if you're heading out to the bar this weekend, or if you've been out to one recently, you may have noticed you're spending more money on beer. The drink is the latest target of inflation and ongoing supply chain issues. Our sister station in Seattle dives deeper into this brewing issue in Washington. Several breweries I spoke to, including Georgetown Brewery, which is one of the state's largest independent breweries, confirmed to me they're seeing costs increase by as much as 40%. And listen, that's having a big impact on people that drink beer as well as people that sell beer. Places like here, Bridges in Edmonds. Now, I spoke to the owner, Jack Crawford. He says on average, consumers are seeing about a dollar increase, everything from draft beer to bottled beer. He says that the first sign of those prices going up came from imported or international beer, and that local brewery here in the Northwest held out passing those rising costs off to the consumer as long as they could until about November. But listen, this is something we're seeing even at the national level. The consumer price index of beer at home increased nearly 9% in December compared to the year before and nearly 7% for beer away from home. That's according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistic. Jack says consumers who are into craft beer are so far willing to pay up those prices, but some consumer behavior is changing. Maybe people are buying one or two drinks instead of three or four. We offer single cans and you know a lot of people like to kind of mix and match and then you kind of see where your price is and it feels a little cheaper up front because you're looking at a can price versus a whole four pack price but it still allows you to kind of adventure into the beer world. Now, Jack says he's expecting prices to continue to increase over the next few months. He told me he's focused on things like game nights, Pictionary night, Pictionary nights to keep the focus not just on beer, so people coming back through these doors. For now, reporting here in Edmonds, Angelique Cockaday, King 5 News.